A election day here in Georgia. Right now, voters all across the state heading out to polling places to cast their ballots. Already, we have seen at least two Metro Atlanta counties announcing that they will be staying open late tonight. Cobb and Henry counties had issues earlier today that caused them to extend voting hours. And CBS 46's Ashley Thompson just heard from the Fulton County Elections Director. She is live in Buckhead to break down what was said. Ashley, there were some issues at at least two polling locations, but apparently nothing was major. Yeah, Sean, nothing significant, but certain equipment, the poll pads were actually not delivered in time this morning to two locations. Now, this did not stop anyone from voting. They just had to use paper ballots until that equipment arrived. The issues were at North Springs High School in Sandy Springs and the John Burdine Center in Atlanta. As I mentioned, initially the poll pads were not there. The managers followed proper procedures and allowed voters to use provisional ballots. They arrived later around 10 a.m. and noon. Also, at Sutton Middle School. A scanner was down for a short period of time. Officials say ballots were put into an emergency bin for scanning later. Fulton County has more than 2,000 poll workers in the field today. Voting began on time at all locations and we're told there's been no significant lines. Asked about the biggest challenges we might see today, uh, Richard Barron, the elections director of Fulton County, says changes made under the state's new voting law, SB202, creating some anxiety. Before five o'clock, you can't you can't vote out of precinct provisionally without your ballot won't count. So you have to go to your right your correct precinct. Um, after that, I guess it's going to be. This is the first time we've been using the data reporting tool, so I'm I, mean, I think everybody's a little anxious to use that and see how how it's going to work tonight. And he says turnout has been light but steady. Uh, that's certainly what we are seeing here at the Buckhead Library. Officials do expect things to pick up this evening as people get off work. Now coming up at 5 o'clock, I am breaking down the early voting numbers and how they compare to 2017. For now, I am live in Atlanta. Ashley Thompson, CBS 46 News. Ashley, thanks very much. We'll be checking back with Ashley, of course all night long. Election Day issues also popping up in Henry County today. Our team received several reports of voting machines down in Stockbridge. We're told a technology failure caused software and connection issues that didn't let voters cast their ballots there. So for two hours, none of the city's three polling places had working machines. And to make matters worse, there were not any backup provisional ballots available. The mayor, who is not on the ballot this time around, says today's outage hurt voter confidence in the system. Well, an unacceptable uh, collapse of the voting system here in Stockbridge has taken place. We had three voting locations for the first time in the history of the city. There was plenty of notification and not one of the locations was set up properly. It's totally unacceptable and we need to make sure that we get to the bottom of this. We have citizens being turned away from the polls. So here is the remedy they've come up with. Stockbridge voters will now have until midnight tonight to vote. For Atlanta voters.